you've probably seen Dolly's images or those AI image generators around Discord or any social media platform by now. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to your Discord bot. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so here I am in my Visual Studio Code. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and install Crayon. And now you should see what the install or the command to install it is up on screen right now. Once you go ahead and install it, then what we can do is we can import the following thing. So we can import from Crayon, import Crayon. Yeah, I know, revolutionary stuff there. And then we can also import from Pill, import image because we will be also using pillow for this and then we can do something like from io import bytes io and then lastly from or not even just from we can do import time all right so now that we have all this what you want to do is you want to create a new command and I'm not sure this is error I don't think that's just a simple error I mean that yeah see it's purely cosmetic what we want to do is you want to do bot dot command just create a regular command as you would I do async def and something like generate is what we'll call the command and then we can add ctx and add the asterisk and do prompt and that's going to be a string all right and over here we can do commands dot context there we go we have that type in thing all right oh also by the way ignore this this is just visual studio code it's being weird but now that we have that what we want to do is we want to create an eta which is basically e um i think it's expected time of arrival so we can do something like int time dot time plus 60 so in my testing it usually takes 60 or 50 to 55 seconds so we're just going to do 60 just to be safe and then we're going to do msg equals and we can send something like go grab a coffee this may take some time right something like that add the three dots and then we can even give them a nice little eta using discord's timestamp management so basically what we're going to do is we want to do something like this and it, because it's an f string just slide in eta over here and then and like that so now it'll come up in this cool little section here which will constantly update by itself by because of discords like how it works and it'll give them an eta right so it'll be like 58 seconds 54 and so on and so forth but now that we have that we can actually start generating it so we can do generator equals and we can do crayon like that and this essentially generates a prompt and then we can do something like result equals generator generator i guess this initiates it and this actually generates it as result and then we can do images equals result dot images and by the way this little uh piece of code that's just from the documentation so yeah and then we this will return nine images just how crayon works or dally too or mini dolly and what we want to do is we want to grab the first one so we're just going to follow through it by doing four i in images and what we can do is we can do something like image equals and we're just going to have bytes.io bytes io and then in here we're going to have base 64 and this is just going to make it readable and decode all of this so it's going to do decode bytes and then i which is the image that encode that's going to encode it in a certain it's going to be this is mostly used utf-8 and then now that we have that we can literally just send it to them and this is going to be return away msg that edit content equals and over here we can do something like content generated and I'm always, I'm obviously gonna just quote like, or 
uh, say the website I did it here and I think you guys should too or if you're using this at least provide some credit for the website because once again we're not generating this it's the website which we're just fetching the data from so I'm just going to do content generated by crayon.com so if they want to go to the site and look at it themselves they can and then we're going to slide in a file there so by doing file equals next word file and this works with anything pycord discord.py uh, disnake next word whatever you want and then I'm just going to change this to generated image once again you don't have to this is purely cosmetic if they download it and so that's literally it okay uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little run button and we're gonna test it out all right so here i am in my discord right here please join link down in the description we are we just hit a thousand right it's just discord.gg slash close stick even though we don't have the level three trust me it'll work but now what we want to do is if we do help here you can see that it says right here we have generate right so generate and we want to give a prompt now the more data you give in this prompt the better right trust me when i say that because well then it's, it has more stuff to go off of so i'm gonna put in a bunch of things and we'll be back all right so now you see i put this in right and a bunch of it must look like a uh, blur like hd phone wallpaper trust me this sometimes help depending on what you want and so here we have our eta and so i'll be right back all right so here we are now you might see that well this happened and uh it's because i forgot to import something uh you shouldn't have had that error but now you can see it says content generated by crayon and it gives it to us right and it's kind of like a cyberpunk kind of thing right it gives you that vibe off uh and that's basically it right now i know it's not 8k but because it is uh being fetched from an api and because discord compresses it that's why it's a bit small but there you go it is a content generator now if you want me to make a part two of this i can so load this video up share it with your friends and i will make a part two of it integrating buttons and allowing you to cycle through all nine variations but that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and until next time we'll stick out see ya